hello students now we are going to solve the problems using legendary polynomials okay so these are the problems on legendary polynomials and the problems are very simple what type of the problems are see this is the algebraic polynomial given in terms of x right f of x equal to x raised to 4 3x cube minus x square plus 5x minus 2 this is the algebraic function given what we have to do we are going to express this algebraic function in terms of legendary polynomials we are going to get in terms of legendary polynomial means in terms of p1 of p0 of x p1 of x p2 of x p3 of x okay like that we are going to express this algebraic functions to legendary polynomial now <coughs> so here the, this is the given equation what we have to do the first step is x raised to 4 we have x cube then we have x square then we have x then this is the constant we are going to obtain constant that is from legendary polynomial we have p naught of x value as 1 this 1 into 2 so here we substitute 2 into p naught of x okay and x is here from the legendary polynomial we have p1 of x equal to x okay this wherever x is there is yes, here x this x we are replacing by p1 of x okay similarly we have to replace x square as a legendary polynomial then we have to replace x cube we have to replace x raised to 4 then from where we get these x square x cube x raised to 4 this one from that we have a result p naught of x as a 1 here we replace p1 of x equal to x so we replace x as a p1 of x then what about x square <coughs> x square value we get from the p2 of x remember that if the equation containing x square that x square value we get from p2 of x okay <coughs> p2 of x is given by 1 by 2 into 3x square minus 1 from this we obtain the value of x square that is 3x square taken this to this side 2 into p2 of x and minus 1 that side plus 1 therefore x square equal to 2 divided by 3 p2 of x plus 1 by 3 this 3 we take this side 1 by 3 and remember this is very important whenever we have a constant if we have a constant only constant that we take as a into 1 1 is p naught of x okay do not keep constant only we have to take into 1 1 means it is a p naught of x that you remember okay so this is the value of x square then we get the value of x cube we have x cube in the given equation that x cube we get from p3 of x p3 of x is given by 1 by 2 into 5 x cube minus 3 x so from this the value of x cube is given by see 5 x cube equal to taken to this side 2 into p3 of x plus take a minus 3 x that side 3 x so and x cube equal to 2 this divided by 5 okay into p3 of x plus 3 divided by 5 <coughs> and remember that this x we do not keep as it is this x value we have x value is p1 of x so we replace x as p1 of x so that final result should not contain in terms of x x cube x square and all this x also we have to replace as a polynomial which is p1 of x so this is the value of x cube okay and also we have x raised to 4 x raised to 4 value we obtain from from p4 of x p4 of x is given by 1 by 8 into 35 x raised to 4 minus 30 x square plus 3 from this 
we obtain x raised to 4 see x raised to 4 8 divided by this 35 p4 of x plus this you observe 30 divided by 35 hmm? then we have a x square this x square we have to replace x square value is here this x square value we substitute minus 3 divided by 35 then 3 by 35 is what it is a constant whenever we have a constant that should be multiplied by p naught of x this you remember p naught of x okay this on simplification we get the x raised to 4 as 8 divided by 35 p4 of x plus 4 by 7 p2 of x plus 2 by 7 p naught of x and this also you can simplify again that is 2 by 7 minus 3 by 35 okay that you can simplify now i just tell you one simple technique because you need to remember p naught of x value p1 of x value p2 of x value p3 of x then p4 of x you you need to remember all the values okay <coughs> and moreover uh, the equation will be given in terms of maximum x raised to 4 okay even though if you have x raised to 5 you you have to write on that now i just give one simple technique to uh, remember suppose in case if you are unable to write p2 of x or p3 of x uh, then what we need to do see in the last video we discussed this rodrigo's formula pn of x equal to 1 divided by 2 raised to n into n factorial then nth derivative of x square minus 1 raised to n you can remember this formula easily from this rodrigo's formula we can obtain p0 of x take n equal to 0 you get 1 take n equal to 1 p1 of x you get x that on simplification okay taking n equal to 1 in the rodrigo's formula we get p1 of x as x similarly <coughs> taking n equal to 2 you get p2 of x from rodrigo's formula similarly p3 of x and p4 of x it is just alternative way suppose i suggest you remember all these results even though if you get any problem or any that doubt you can verify the values using rodrigo's formula okay now we substitute all the values in the given function okay now yes so here this is a given algebraic function we substituted x raised to 4 then x cube then x square then x then minus 2 minus 2 this is a constant multiplied by p naught of x okay <coughs> then we simplify 8 divided by 35 p4 of x then you write the p3 of x term p3 of x term okay we have only one p3 of x 6 by 5 p3 of x then you take p2 of x p2 of x we have 4 by 7 then minus 2 by 3 you can simplify 4 by 7 minus 2 by 3 that is minus 2 by 21 into p2 of x then write the p1 of x term p1 of x term that is 9 by 5 minus sorry plus 5 that is 34 by 5 similarly we can simplify p naught of x so this is what we converted or we expressed the algebraic function to legendre polynomial okay so likewise we have the diff uh, uh, the different functions okay one this is the second problem and this is the third problem <clears throat> so in this we have to find one the value of x value of x square value of x cube from legendre polynomials then substitute in this this is the legendre polynomial similarly this is the third problem okay now in this last problem this one is diff this one is different obtain p3 of x from rodrigo's formula just now i told you this we can obtain the legendre polynomials with the help of the rodrigo's formula and verify that p3 of x satisfies legendre equation in the standard form so here this is the rodrigo's formula we obtain p3 of x p3 of x with the help of rodrigo's formula what we need to do we just take n equal to 3 in the rodrigo's formula when n equal to 3 p3 of x equal to 2 raised to 3 
3 factorial okay and n equal to 3 d cube by dx cube x square minus 1 raised to <coughs> 3 so this become 1 divided by 48 hmm? then before differentiation this we can simplify x square minus 1 raised to 3 cubing that and this function we have to differentiate 3 times this is the result 120 x cube minus 72 x and again <coughs> this on simplification we get p3 of x equal to 1 by 2 5 x cube minus 3 x yes this is the p3 of x value listen to polynomial using Rodrigo's formula okay and also the second question is show that or verify that p3 of x satisfy the legendary equation so here the legendary equation differential equation is given by 1 minus x square into y double dash minus 2 x y dash plus n into n into n plus 1 into y equal to 0 so satisfying or uh, satisfying this legendary equation means in place of y we have to take p3 of x so 1 minus x square into p3 of x double dash so the second order derivative minus 2x into p3 of x in place of y this y dash then n equal to 3 that you remember n equal to 3 3 plus 3, 3 into 3 plus 1 then again this is p3 of x equal to 0 now this p3 of x we know here is the value then p 3 dash of x we have to obtain so this p3 of x we have to differentiate you get p3 dash of x differentiation of this 1 by 2 15 x square minus 3 differentiate this again we get p3 double dash of x that is 15 x now we substitute p3 of x value p3 dash of x value then p3 double dash of x value in this equation then satisfying equation means when you substitute all these values we should get 0 yes so here we substituted p3 double dash then p3 dash of x value p3 of x value this on simplification we obtained 0 then we say that p3 of x satisfies the legendary equation this is another uh, different problem okay so these are the problems on the legendary polynomials okay thank you